Hello, I'm going to demonstrate Newton's first law of motion. We see here that uh, Newton's first law can be stated that when the net force on an object is zero, the velocity of that object remains constant. Equivalently, if the object is at rest, the object remains at rest, and if the object is moving, the object moves with constant velocity in the absence of a net force. We can illustrate that with this little ball. If this ball is at rest in the horizontal direction, that ball will remain at rest, and when I drop it from one hand to the other, it'll fall straight down. There's no tendency for it to change its motion in the horizontal direction. Similarly, if that ball is moving along at constant speed without acceleration in the horizontal direction, that speed will be maintained as the ball falls straight down, as I observe it, from one hand to the other. As you observe it, you see the velocity of the ball being maintained in the horizontal direction indicating that the motion of an object remains constant in the absence of a net force. Now I'm going to take the ball and I'm going to start running. I'm going to run past that box out there in the middle of the floor. And uh, just as I get to the box, when this ball is directly over the box, I'm going to release the ball and let's observe what happens. Now, could you see that as I dropped the ball here, because of the ball's horizontal motion, that motion was maintained consistent with Newton's first law, and the ball traveled past the box and ended up on the floor. In order to drop the ball in the box, I have to drop the ball back here someplace so that then the horizontal motion of the ball will be constant and the ball will end up, hopefully, falling in the box. Let's try that again. This time I'll drop the ball in front of the box and see where the ball lands. So you can see that the horizontal motion of the ball is maintained constant in the absence of a horizontal force, illustrating Newton's first law of motion.